Bro code, bro code, we in new modes, and we do it better sticking together, won't bend, won't fold, no I got your back through whatever weather, rain, sleep, or snow, make it profit while we get to the cheddar, we in that mode, you know if we got a problem, we pull up in that jet, fit for all of my bros, collective like the colors in the rainbow, all of that talking you did on the net, we know that you only did it for a post, if I pull up then I get in the check, I need me like 500k for a show, or maybe more, and I got all of the stars in the ceiling cause we in the road, yeah just for the bros, brothers forever so you know we got each other back, we aiming for gold, sticking together, tell us about the weather, we never slack, gotta stick to the code, bro code, bro code, we in new modes, and we do it better sticking together, won't bend, won't fold, no I got your back to whatever, Weather, rain, sleep, or snow. Make it profit while we get to the cheddar. They know we own. Take off with diamonds to tone. Yes, sir. Back in the building one more time for another hot episode of Bro Bro. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for joining us today and partaking in this. Intellectual conversation. Let's do it, man. Let's go, Doctor. Let's go, Doctor. Let's, 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 let's do it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna jump on into it since somebody <laughs> impatient. Okay. You know. So today's conversation, today's topic man, I'm is just a guest for us, man. I see you impatient. Do you, you want to do this? Man. Oh my god. Okay. We got a guest, man. It's my fault. Respect the ladies. Oh, so, man. Okay, so Asa, you introduce the guest. Here we go. All right, so. We got to your another, left, to your another, right. another epic episode of Bro Code about to take place. Right. We're going to have good conversation. Yes, sir. Uh, but before we start, yes. we want to properly introduce our guests. Right. All right. So first, to our right, we have Miss Rosier McCornet. Yes, sir. How are you doing? Thank you for joining us. Thank you. We also And to my right, we have Miss Lakeisha. Thanks for joining Thank us. You. Thank, Thank you for coming on. Us. And we want to give you guys the opportunity to just uh, kind of tell who you are, um, just anything you want the fans to know. Yeah. Um, just a quick social media handle, introduction you know, of yourself. Like yeah. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. I am Rosie Resilience on social media. I am a mindset coach and also a YouTuber on the Resilient Life. And I'm all about my Zoes. You know who you are. And I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> You? I'm Lakeisha. Uh, I'm originally from Chicago. I am a life coach, preferably a confidence coach. I've been an international speaker for 17 years. Wow. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. Nice. Cool. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome, ladies. Welcome. 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 I'm sorry. Wait, wait. What, what's your sign? Aquarius. That sign it is a okay. okay. Anyway, okay. we're going to okay. move on. <laughs> you know, thank you, ladies, yeah. for joining us. <laughs> we appreciate y'all, you yes. know, engaging in us in this conversation. Definitely. So, you know, we always try to have spirited conversations yeah. that are unbiased, right? Right. Which is why the ladies are here, because mm -hmm. we want a female perspective, right? Yeah. Um, especially with this topic, because it's, it's a topic that is pretty relevant, right? Yeah. Um, I, I know I hear... Is it juice, though? Is it juice? It's got some juice to it, a little bit. A little bit. I, mean, I mean, it ain't... It's like... It's like... It's probably more like well... Not medium well. Okay, okay. Mm. So we got some well. So we juice talking meat. Like we, talking we, we talking meat. steak. We talking steak. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We talking you, meat. You always be digging. I'm like, right. what? Oh, yeah, yeah. It we ain't, talking it ain't. meat. Yeah. It's okay. juicy so meat. It's a little bit juicy. So, Ooh. so, so the topic for the day is: Why do black men feel so unappreciated by black women? Mm. Mm. And you know, when I was came across this topic and I was thinking about this topic, it was because I hear it so much in society mm -hmm. from my fellow brothers. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, they always talk about no matter what they do, they never feel appreciated. Mm. A lot of them, their wives don't work or they work and they're not responsible for anything in the house. Yep. Are we talking just wives or are we talking significant others? Significant others, significant wives, others, girlfriends. Wives. Yeah. Serious I mean, relationships. We're we talking about Serious partners. relationships, We'll right? just put partners yep. there and put quotations there. There it is. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're talking Shit. about, yeah. and we'll just encompass all of it. Exactly. Right? And this okay. includes people that you know personally? Some people okay. I know personally. All right. 
some people that I've seen online, uh, articles that I've read, mm -hmm. um, you know, they say that they're unappreciated. You know, they've been providers, they've done everything that their partners, spouses, significant, uh, significant others have asked of them, uh, and they still don't get the love that they feel like they should get. So before don't we get any love, before we dig into it, I just okay. want to do a quick poll right. for all the men on this panel. Right. Quick poll. Raise your hand if you've ever felt unappreciated. In, in any relationship? In, yeah. In, in any relationship. Any relationship. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, cool. Okay. So we can all speak from experience. Experience. Good. Because that's how we talk. That's, just, that's, just what we, that's how we talk that here, right? There. Okay. We talk from experience. We don't just we, make yeah, up yeah. stories. Exactly. Okay. You know. I just wanted to make sure the people listening didn't right. think it was just for people that oh, heard. Oh, no, no, no. Right? Okay. So the people that's watching, they know us well enough. They've seen us. They know we yep. talk from experience. We got examples. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, so. Yep. You know, this this ain't no made-up situation. Like, right. like you say, oh. We keep it real on broker. Yeah. Keep, keep it, it real, real on broker. There we go. So we so we're gonna talk about, you know, why black men feel unappreciated. So as I was reading and putting this together, I thought about and came across some things that make black men feel this way, right? Mm -hmm. Ways black women dismiss black men, right? And this, uh, so let me get this disclaimer right, because this is this is in no way, shape, or form. An attack on black women. There it I is. No, yeah, thank you. Y'all was gonna feel like that. Oh my God, <laughs> we putting the dukes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get my gun yeah, with is. my poker. That's that. We're that, not that doing that is, it, right? Cool. It's, that it's, is, it's, it's not that, right? Mm -hmm. This is real information that you can Google for yourself. Yep. Or you can find online that black men, right? Mm -hmm. Your supposed partners are putting out there because and this is how they feel. This is real life. Situation, right? Right, right. And you always, y'all always want to say you want to know how the black man thinks, right? And how we feel, and I'm right. telling you. So, in in this, there we're being vulnerable, right? They're, they're being vulnerable. There it is. Okay, so let's get into it, cool. We're getting into it, baby. So, right. one of the biggest things is, and I hear this a lot. Mm -hmm. Black women are raised to live without the black man. Any thoughts on that? That's a so, tough one. So that question has to go to our guests. Like, what, what that's, they, that's that's a tough one. What, what do they feel about okay. that? Let me let me jump jump in okay. there, Rose. For myself. Yeah. Okay. For myself. Yep. So mm -hmm. so first, were you raised as a black woman to be strong and not need a black man? To be strong, yes. But the not need a black man, no. Okay. Okay. Number one. Okay. Uh, number two. Well, before I get to number two. The baseline. The black men who are saying this, mm -hmm. what are they bringing? Meaning, what is your standpoint? Like, are you a healthy man that you're doing me well, or you're the other ones? So, what's what's the baseline of that man so that I could yeah. answer the question properly? That's a great question. So, so, yeah, we'll just say it's a mixture of both, right? Because it's a mixture of both when it comes to women, right? Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily a healthy woman or a woman that well, means good. Man. Okay, so we'll talk about the man. So we'll just say it's a mixture of both. It's a man, it's, it's black men that are healthy. Um, they're bringing good, solid morals and foundations to women, right? Um, and then we'll say, there's some knuckleheads out there. Because it's, it's always a mixture of both, right? right. In, 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 on both sides. Because for me, respectfully, right. when a healthy man right. is feeling underappreciated by his woman, mm -hmm. then it's the sense of, did you command from this woman to be respected, to be appreciated? Because once you, let's say she doesn't wash the dishes, right? right? Then the next day she doesn't do it again and doesn't do it again because you never told her from day one, hey, you're not going to wash these dishes? So for her, she's assuming it's okay because you never talked to her about it on day one. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, like, what are you wanting from her? Was this ever conversed? Communicated to her that, yes. that there was a requirement or right. something like that? Right. So, okay. So good point, right? <laughs> so you, you want to take it? You but, got it. But right. most women... 
because this is what I'm... You want to take it? This is what I'm... You got it. You got it. You got brothers in Women are naturally nurturers. They naturally know their place and they mm-hmm. naturally know their duties, right? right. So, oh. as a man, mm. no, 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 yeah, because yeah. oh. I've never heard some. Yeah, you, I've always heard oh, all. All, yeah. Uh, <laughs> as a man, oh. I should never have to say, "Yeah, babe, what's up with the dishes?" Right? Yeah. You never. Oh, you should never. Kid, you should I'm gonna never. I'm gonna tell you why. Now I'm just saying. I'm just right. saying. Women. Now I'm. No, you speak, you're speaking for you. Yes, I'm <laughs> Just speaking so for you. I know Wait, hello, my Jenny. generation, we? we were raised, you know, you wash the dishes, you cook, this is this. And I'm raised Caribbean, okay? Okay. Now. So you're completely then, different. Yes, I am. So right. So then the generation below me, which is, I don't say anything, my sister, so she's the 80s baby. So they're raised kind of like whatever, because by then the parents are like, I'm tired, whatever. Right, right, right. So she doesn't know how to cook. So there's some women who don't know how to cook, okay. don't care to cook. Okay. So if that man, knowing that is okay, then that's what you. If you met her to her house and saw her dishes in the sink and you never say anything, that's on you. So that's So what we about. we wanna we want because you guys yeah. have been hand selected to be on yeah. this show, right? We want to know from your, we want to know from your perspective right. how you feel, right? Do you need guidance from a man? Hey, wash the dishes, or are you raised to wash Not the dishes? Not every woman is raised in that manner. Right. So, right. as I said, for me, I was raised, so. So do you feel like wash the dishes is your duty? It's Where you not were my duty. Well, I, it was just an example. Or is it so, offensive if your guy says, "Hey, what's up? Like yeah. you ain't watching this?" Very offensive. Is it? Yeah, yeah because unfortunately uh-huh. we ascribe to gender roles. Who told you that dishes was the woman's job? Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, because uh-huh. you did say. I mean, I'm just saying it was like you said duties, right? So I was. Assuming. Because we, yeah, we're talking about like. Now yeah. we've grown up. Like for me, my parents were married 47 years, right? right? Oh, that's a long time. So of course I've seen my mom be the domesticated woman. Right. Mm-hmm. However, that was never her duty. Right. It was just something that, you know, we grow up and we pass down these traditions and not even examine why we do them. We just do them. Did your dad watch this? Did you ever see your dad watching oh, yeah. this? My dad was the baker. So, yeah. again, when okay. you think about it, most of the time they think the woman is the baker. Right. No, my right. dad was the baker. So, would you say you were raised to live without a black man or were you raised to cohabitate with a black man? Well, my parents, again, were married 47 years. So you so saw it. So you, I saw it, yeah. but my father also raised me to be interdependent and not independent. Okay. And the reason why he did that is because at the end of the day, I may or may not get a husband. I still need to know how to do things. Right. I can't hold up my life waiting on a man. I get it. As women, we're taught that all day long. From, from little girls on up, play with dolls, take care of the house, all these things. Mm-hmm. And then when you get mad because a woman don't know how to change her tire, she doesn't know how to check her oil, right. but that's not what we're taught. No, we're and, yeah, but, yeah. You, but, but your dad shows you how to do this stuff so you can do it. Exactly. Oh, yeah, I can so, change so, the tire. So for, for every woman out there that didn't understand what interdependent <laughs> means, <laughs> Break it down. It, there it, it is. Break it, it down. Means. Break it down. Break it down. <laughs> Independent, interdependent, right? Interdependent means you can do those things, but you will allow your husband to do those things. Or your mate. Or your mate. You, or, you or, your, or your husband. That. Your husband don't want her out there. She can change the time. Right. right. She gonna, why you gonna like she can go do it. You can go do it as a woman. But you got this man over here that can do it. So you're going to let yeah. him do it. But yeah. you don't think like, I guess today, you know, it's probably back in the day, it was mostly where the men, he, he worked. Women always stayed at home, take care of kids, the house, stuff like that. Right. That, a long time ago, that was. 47 years. That's a long time. So, they, so they, that's a couple of generations that, of different responsibilities but, as parents, as husband, as wife, as, you know, household duties. Like, but you never thought, or your parents never, your, your mom never said, do this, but always make sure you can take care of yourself. Did my mom teach me that? Yeah, yeah because honestly, although my parents were married 47 years, 
My father was the provider, but my mom wore the pants. So she was more of the more dominant voice and um, taking over a lot of things. My father, again, he was the provider, but he wasn't well equipped to be a partner. Right. And that came because he didn't have parents. His parents died when he was younger. Oh, okay. So, mm. but they understood. It worked for them. Right, right, right. It worked for them. Because it, because of how he was raised, and she helped. So okay, so that's a different scenario. Okay, so I like that. Yeah. Okay, so moving on. We're gonna move on. Yep. Black women are taught independence and survival, which some of them are. We're because not. your dad taught you how to change a tire. So you could, you could survive. Yes, but survival is different. Okay. Survival is one of those things where I'm not thriving in independence or interdependence. I'm just going through the motions to get through the day. Right. So the, there is a clear distinction between that. Surviving is I'm doing what needs to be done at the moment that it needs to be done. It doesn't require me to ask help, which is how I look at inter, uh, interdependence is right. knowing when to ask for help. It's not depending on somebody else, but it's knowing, hey, I know I, I'm five feet. You in Publix, I need you to reach what's on the top shelf because clearly I can't reach it. But but independent, in right, but independent would make me climb that shelf and, you know, the second and third. But why yeah, would I do that yeah. when I can just ask for help? I said most, most women five feet, they daredevils anyway. They be climbing <laughs> stuff. Okay, we're going to move on. <laughs> yeah. I do, I do want to add to that, though, like, do you have an issue asking your black man for that assistance? Is that an issue? Yes. It's an issue to ask your black man to get the to top shelf? Yes. So I've been quiet too long. Let me say something. <laughs> <laughs> Speak. <sighs> so this, this second point that you just mentioned, I feel like it's one of the, the very strongest points okay. when it comes to this topic. The reason why I say that is because a lot of them are taught to be, let me say, we have some that's taught to be interdependent. Mm -hmm. But a lot of them have, even if they have not been taught to be independent, a lot of them watch people pick up habits and gravitate to the independent role. However, the difference between independent and survival mode is the reason why I feel like the black man doesn't feel appreciated because, number one, if you my woman and I'm telling you, hey, I got your best interest at heart, I got your back on that, okay? Mm -hmm. But you still feel the need that you can't come to me and ask me to help you with anything, and that's a slap in the face. Because guess what? If you supposed to be my partner and I go to Susan and ask her for something, the first thing you're going to come to me and check me and say, hey, why didn't you just ask me for that? So, the oh, same reason, so oh, where do you think that comes from? I'm going to tell you, the same reason why... You didn't come to me and ask me for something that you feel like you could do on your own, but then as soon as it blow up and you going through what you're going through, I'm the one that have to step in and help you with that situation. Okay. So wouldn't it be not easier for you to just say, "Hey, baby, I need help with that." You can't. My biggest That's problem. That's the independence, with, right? Though, but my biggest problem with the survival mode independence stage is, at what point are you going to turn that off? If you telling me, "Hey, we're in a partnership." Partnership means you got my back and I got yours. It don't mean that basically you only depend on me when you feel like it. But did or you when it's give convenient. her the, the framework to come to you? So, for example, have you been consistent with the word that you said for that action to be even taking place? So, here's my problem with the black women when it comes well, to the answer, Wait, wait, you didn't answer my question. No, I'm going to ask you a question. Oh, okay. Okay, give me, give me, be patient. Okay, you seem like a white person. Okay, so here's my problem with that. My biggest thing is, y'all keep mentioning this word consistency, okay? I don't think it's about consistency. I think it's more about the fact that y'all don't want nobody to tell y'all no. Really? Okay, yes, really. Okay, because at the end of the day, my thing is, if you ask me to do something, okay, one thing about it, when you keep mentioning the consistency, what you got to also remember is, with consistency it has to come patience. And a lot of black women don't have patience. Okay, let me give you an example. Let's say the garbage is supposed to be picked up on Wednesday night. Okay? okay? I would agree. Now. Morning, huh? they don't mm -hmm. have patience. Well, I'm saying night. Good. So with garbage is a perfect now. example. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And so you are aware of this. Mm -hmm. And Wednesday night comes and the garbage is still in the back or in the garage, but anywhere for the garbage man to pick it up. Okay. And this happens again. But you said to her, oh, you're going to take care of it. Mm -hmm. Right? I got it, but, 
Mm -hmm. I got you. Okay. 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 So for her, she's like, well, you told me the first Wednesday, the second, the third, you got this. Okay. So due to your lack of consistency, okay. I'm like, bet fourth Wednesday, I'll take care of it. So you didn't give me any reason to depend on you, to appreciate you when I, you first told me you got this on Wednesday, but you show me for three Wednesdays in a row, you do not got this. That's a, that's a great example. I'm, I'm be honest with you. That's a really good example. Really and that kind of breaks it down for layman terms for man and woman, right? Consistency, patience is what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And we'll use the garbage can example, right? Most men are equipped to handle the necessary things around the house, i.e., take out the garbage, right? Put the garbage to the mailbox, cut the grass, mm -hmm. right? The, the things that most men Minor do. Repairs We're not going to general roles, yeah. right? Yeah. But most men are equipped to change the tires, fix the brakes, take it to get an oil change, right? If you're dealing with a man that has not taken the garbage out in four weeks, what does that say about you as a woman, right? What, like, how does, it even, how does it even get there? Right, that's good you know what I mean? So you should even, unless it's just, oh, somebody was doing it, doing it, doing it. That's something you say you like, you respect. Oh, you take out the garbage, you do this, you do that, and then it stops. That's a whole different issue. If you right, yeah. But okay. if this starts from day one, okay. and you've been dealing with it, what are we talking about? Yeah. Right. Right. So you, you gotta. It's it's, it's it's levels to everything, right? Mm -hmm. Man and woman, gender. I mean, so, that's just yeah. And, 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 and acceptance and, and, and at that point. Trash. <laughs> yeah. I mean, four weeks. I'm yeah. accepting yeah. it. Right. Right. Exactly. If you yeah. accept yeah. it for the three yeah. weeks, yeah. like you gotta also look at it like this right here. <laughs> what during those three weeks that he wasn't consistent? <laughs> What else was he doing? Like, what was his mindset? Did right. he have a long day? Was he dealing with something? It's really like, no excuse, unless you're, unless you're out of town. Unless you're out of town. Listen, 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 or? listen, here's my thing. <laughs> because if you send back, once again, I'm big on partnership, okay? So if you looking, if you if you sit here, if you got all this time in the world to calculate every Wednesday that I don't take out the trash, <laughs> so you put a check mark by it, so you can bring that up in the conversation. <laughs> right. My thing is, I'm like, okay. You're not listening. No, 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 no. You're not listening. Hold on. No, no, hold you're on. not listening. No, my hold point hold is hold on, hold on. the fact that you said, so like, like be valid to your word. Listen, no, no. Let me finish. Hold on. Let me, right. Listen. I'm going to get this one. So basically, now I'm thinking, okay, if I'm forgetting to take the trash out, What's wrong with your hands? No, you not, no it's so, you missing the whole point. No, 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 you're missing no, the whole no, point. No, no, no. So, 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 you're not hearing me. So I'm going to jump in. I'm going to jump in. I'm going to jump in. Right. So, yeah, help her brother out. <laughs> again, I'm the married one. Right. Okay, cool. Right. So, right. So, I'm going to agree with what so, you're saying. So, so, so the thing is, like, we talk about the Just consistency, right? Right. My wife asked for help uh, from, a, from a cooking standpoint because we both work. So we split the workload and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And during a, a, a counseling session, I agreed. I said, hey, you know, Thursday, I'll, I'll take over. I, I didn't say Thursday. I said, I'm going to cook a meal one, one, one per week, right? On the weekend, usually we go out and stuff like that. But I, I said, hey, I'm, this, this is what I'm going to do, right? Mm -hmm. And then I think I did it once, and then the consistency fell off, and the next week I didn't do it and stuff like that. And then she brought it back up to me, right? Mm -hmm. And at that point, she was upset where she had a right to be because again, I said you it just like to. Yeah, Thank that, you. Was, that was your commitment. Yeah, yeah. That was my yeah. commitment. Yeah. That yeah. there were there was other things that were going on, like I to get my son to practice and all this kind of stuff that was going on, right? Mm -hmm. But on the day that I'm supposed to provide dinner, it don't necessarily have to be me cooking. If I have to go get it and bring it back to the yeah, house yeah. so everybody can eat, That's right? Your responsibility. And and yeah. so I was not being consistent. Yeah. Right? Which in turn put a rift between us because I'm not doing what That's I'm supposed to be doing. That's yeah. understandable. Yeah. Okay. And so, I, and I respect that. But look look at what you said. I said, you said you cook once one week and then the next week you forgot about it and didn't do it. Okay? So she brought it up to you. Okay? When she brought it up to you, what y'all need to understand is the problem isn't about the fact that you bring it to you. It's how you do it. Well, well, well. If you sitting there waiting three weeks and you sitting there kind of, well, he ain't taking out this week, so I'm gonna write this. Well, week. so it wasn't even. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, you were. Yeah. The word. Yeah, he yeah. So, said he was going to do it. Right. And so, that's and, the point that starts yeah. the whole domino yeah. effect it, it, of yeah. what happens with actions. Yeah, and it wasn't. She did. It was. It was. It wasn't even one week. It was right. a couple of weeks. I just kind of let it slide, and I didn't stick to the commitment. Which, which at, at the end of the day, I said, I right, hey. 
I did it. Right. I said I was supposed to do it, and I didn't do it. Right. Man, hold on. Let me, let me just give a shout out to my boy real quick, cuz. <laughs> I just want to say, we was in Jamaica for like a week, and it was like a level three threat level over there, and my boy's wife wanted chicken from KFC, and we braised, we left the resort, and we just out here braising, we just going to get chicken. It's level three threat level tourists wow. out here. We out here in KFC with some sandals on and some swimming trunks trying to get this. I said, you know what? My boy love his wife. He love his wife. I, love me. I got a newfound respect for you, my boy. <laughs> dog, my dog said, cool. We finna get this chicken. I said, all right, let me go get my wallet. <laughs> I just want to give you that shout out. That's what love is what love and appreciation. Is for real. My boy exhibit that. <laughs> Danger or not, I'm finna get my wife some chicken because that's what she wants. So <laughs> we're gonna move on. All right, so can we say it's hard for black women to change their mindset when it comes to being independent, to interdependent, and allowing a man to do things and exist? Or saying, you know what, you just don't get it. Let me move you to the side. It's not hard, but you have to show her that you are a willing person to do that for. Mm. So if, as I said, if you don't keep your word and you're not consistent, then you're not giving her any ammo to use to say, oh, okay, I could trust him with X, Y, and Z. I agree. But here's another thing that I don't think that we're factoring in is that if you might be the one guy, one, if I've had 15 inconsistent before you, how do you come in as you so eloquently said, I tell her, how? Inconsistency has been the only thing consistent that she's seen from a man. So you come in one time and think that you can erase an entire legacy of inconsistency. Not gonna work. No, so I'm, I'm gonna speak on that. So. When you put it in a situation, in a simple um, example like that, so that's just like because we're gonna we're gonna keep it real on bro, cause we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna touch all aspects of this. Okay, that's why I said touch. you picked the, the juicy topic. You don't know how juicy it is. It's, it's a little My, juicy. That's, so a little bit. with me, that's just like saying this right here, cause you keep on you keep on mentioning consistency. Okay, so from a standpoint like this right here, that's just like women. If you looking at the guy that ever, all fifteen been inconsistent. Okay, and I'm coming in and telling you, hey, coming in, trying to show you, hey, I'm the consistent dude. I, I, I got that. Yet and still, you got this wall up because, hey, the last 15 was inconsistent. Mm -hmm. That means you judging me by the last 15. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me finish. Hold up. That's just like women, when you come in and say, baby, I'm not going to break your heart just because the last 15 did it. Don't mean I'm a different chick. I'm, I'm a different breed. Yet and still, I'm still watching you side eye like you're going to do something like the last 15 do. You're going to feel like that's unfair to you. So we feel the same way. I disagree. Okay, so, 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 are we, so do women really give the... So like you said, you got 15 dudes inconsistent, and you got the one dude, the next dude coming in. Is he really giving that chance with a clean slate? Like, all right, I'm going to see no. what you do. I don't even no. think that's based on gender. I think that's humanness. If I get burned... I'm going to look at fire the way that fire shows up. It's not about a, like that's just that. like me saying I to like a man, yeah. do you know a man will get his heart broken in kindergarten and I will hear it <laughs> yeah. at 50? You will. Oh, right. You definitely so that, will. It's, it's not gender based. <laughs> it's actually humanness. Yeah. Like, let, let's be real. Y'all say, let's be, let's be real. Let's it, keep it, it real. Yeah. You have to literally ask yourself because We'll say women. No, there's a difference between a grown woman and a grown girl. Okay. There's a clear distinction. She's not willing to bend or flex or she's going to say this is the way things have always been. But men do the same exact thing. And so in answering your question, can we come in, allow you to be um, what has not been there? Sure. But it takes time and the same patience that you're asking us for. Just because you come in and tell me I'm a man, I don't need to hear you say that you're a man. I need you to show me that you're a man. And consistency is the only way to get that done. Let's talk. Let's talk control. Let's, let's talk. That means patience. 
Not necessarily, because again, this goes back to if we do that with children, if I have to continuously tell you something, am I going to get mad at something that you just haven't got yet? Or I'm going to give you patience and more time. It may take, like he said, I think that you brought up a, a great segue when you said, hey, look, I did it one time and I didn't do it again. It wasn't that you, it wasn't in your mind to do it. Mm-hmm. It just wasn't first nature. Situations and circumstances. Right. Yeah. And when life starts lifing, mm-hmm. you go back to what's familiar. And that's familiar. I wasn't cooking right. one day a week. So it's not hard for me to drop the ball. However, the thing that keeps you consistent is being mindful. But the problem is, and again, I don't like generalizations, but men do not think like we think. We're going to plan A through Z because that's the way we're built. Yeah. That's why y'all like the game. Give you the play, you're going to play the game, and you're going to play the play. Right. Us, we got to think about the play. What if the play don't make it? What if the coach fall? What if the other players are gone? Right. So there's a difference. I don't know. Some men. Cause some men, yeah. Some men are like not that. equipped like right. that. So let's talk. Yeah. Let's talk control. Let's talk consistent consistency as it relates to control and grace. Right, because I, th- I think you kind of you kind of alluded to that. So when we talk consistency, is that like a method for a woman to control the man, or is there some sort of grace that goes in with that? So if a man is inconsistent here, maybe inconsistent there, is there some grace that goes into that? Good question, my boy. Good question. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Good question. So so how how do how do you how do you do that? Say in your situation. Three weeks, garbage, not taken out, so I take it out myself. Does grace come into that, or are you bypassing the grace? Was the grace the three weeks? And hold on a second, hold on, hold on, hold on. How how do you approach him with that? Gotcha. So, so. (laughs) one question at a time. (laughs) Right. (laughs) It's first acknowledging, hey, you remember you said X, Y, and Z, and then the person will say. Such, such, such. Communication. Thank you. And then after that, it's like, okay, so what's going to happen for next week? Is there something that you need help with me for of whatever happens? That's good communication. And that's it. Like, it's not this whole, like, done and that's it. You know, like, there you go. Yeah, yeah. It's the whole, like, hey, you remember you said this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And me holding you accountable because. Yeah. You know, yeah, so yeah. that's that. <laughs> oh, so, oh, what's up, man? You yeah. looking? That, what's up? Uh, I just need to repeat that last word you just mentioned. Holding you accountable. Accountability. That's the key to all of this. Accountability. You can't expect for us to have accountability, but when it's flipped, you got all these excuses. Mm. I'm not sure who you choosing, but okay. <laughs> 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 Wait. But a grown woman has accountability. You, listen, okay, please, please, please enlighten me on this grown woman that you keep putting Ooh. emphasis on. What's the age for that? Because it's some, um, it's some. Yeah, they are, they are, they are. It's a mindset. And, 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 yeah, and, and, yeah, it's mindset. It's like. 12, 13, and then there's some that's young, and they mindset is a whole lot, lot better than the ones who's older. So please enlighten me on this grown woman status that you keep on portraying that you keep talking about, ma'am. Please do that. Again, grown wim- a grown woman, you don't have to tell her accountability. She wears it like a cloak. So th- there's a difference. You don't have to tell me what I already know is expected of me. It's just my job to do it. So even when you say tell, you don't tell a grown woman. You get to ask me. Right? And we get to have a conversation about it. Cool. How you feel about that, Cool? Cool. How you feel about that? You tell me. I work 12 hours with my food. Is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? But right at the drive through that you yeah. passed by. <laughs> See? You're not serious, are you? No, I was just playing. Okay, I, just <laughs> I was just playing. I was trying to keep my man <laughs> trying to fight. Look, I'm non confrontational, baby. <laughs> The only, ru- the only, yeah, only yeah. fight you finna get from me? Oh, never mind. Okay. We're gonna keep it moving. <laughs> so, uh, all right, so we're gonna talk about a couple of things that, uh, Black women do to show their unappreciation for black women. (laughs) And again, this is not me. This is what's out there on the internet. Right, right, right. (laughs) 
And we hear it frequently. Yeah. Or at least I know I have. <laughs> black women don't express appreciation for black men. They choose other races. That one, that one, you know that, 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 that video that was going around, that ick, like that, that ick for me? That kind of gives me an ick. And, and this is why it gives me an ick. Because they allow other races, and I'm talking Anglos, I'm talking Asian, I'm talking Hispanic, I'm talking every other race but black, right? Okay. okay. To prove themselves, but they don't allow us to prove ourselves. They give them grace, but they don't give us grace, right? They allow you know, each one to do X, Y, Z, and we'll even use the trash as an example. Mm -hmm. If one of those others, you are, you know. Oh, you, you saying that, that the black women will give yeah. another race? They, yeah. they, they'll give Fernando, they'll give Fernando really? grace. Yeah. I, I, will, I will agree with you. I'm going to tell you why, because yeah. I actually had this conversation right with somebody. I know I ain't crazy. That's no. Go ahead. But yeah, that must it's be not for research. all women. No, no, no. Research. It's I not for all that. women. Oh, Someone say that first. But I have had this conversation with someone, mm -hmm. and they were saying how their friend told them, like, okay, I see you always dating inside your race. You are aware a black man does the same thing this mm -hmm. person did to you, so what's the problem? Mm -hmm. And the person had to admit, like, okay, I have an issue with black men, mm -hmm. and that's why I allow it with the other races, mm -hmm. but I won't tackle a black man. How crazy is that though, right? So you allow, and I'm just, I'm gonna just say it because I don't know other, you, you will allow an, a Caucasian man to mistreat you when they've been mistreating you and us for 400 mm -hmm. years, and you yeah. will continue to allow that, but you won't allow a black man the same grace. It's, that's insanity to me. Yeah. It sounds insane, but, it when, but when you deal with being bullied by a black boy, as you said, in kindergarten, and it goes through elementary school and high school, and they don't look at you, they look at the other races. So then when the other races look at you, you're like, <clears throat> oh, so I guess I am beautiful. But it's like saying if you put you in a in a all-white school <coughs> as, a, as a little black girl, mm -hmm. you talking about bully, you probably got it way, way worse. Mm -hmm. Or you've been called all kind of things. Or as a black man, you would hate the, the Caucasian. So is that? I mean, is that, is that insecurity? Is it, what, what is that? What, what does that come from? I mean, what that's just think? getting bullied. I mean, I that's was, just life. I was bullied mainly by black people. Right. But I didn't all of a sudden be like, forget the black race, and I'm gonna go to another race. Were you, like, what, was, never, your, was your school predominantly black? No, it was mainly. It kind of went to the whole gentrification type of thing. <laughs> so it was like a few black kids, and then it progressed to all of a sudden by, I think, fifth grade, it was like more blacks, and then it right, went right, right. all blacks. Um, but I wasn't ever bullied by white people in my lifetime that I'm aware of in my face. Mm -hmm. I have been bullied by black people. And when I moved here to Georgia, I was bullied even more. So that's a, that's a, I, I agree with that. just, for me, which I believe is maybe by God's grace, that I don't have a hatred towards black people, but it didn't ever have me say, oh, well, I won't ever date a black person. Right. That wasn't ever, like, I'm, my first goal is a black man. Right. But if another race approaches me and he's a nice person, <clears throat> then let's talk. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to allow me getting bullied to mess up what I'm attracted to. But that has happened to many people because I even had a friend who was white and she was bullied by white people, but the black kids were loving her, so she only gravitated towards black men because she felt appreciated by a black man. So... So if, they, if, they, if that race can appreciate the, black, appreciate the black man, why can't the black woman do that? I can't answer for that. That's a good question. What do you think, Keisha? Repeat that again. She I said, so if, if other races, like she just mentioned, 
This is white woman. Because we see other races with black men. Well, 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 she she, she actually just explained it. It's 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 it's. it's it's, it's trauma. It's actually mm-hmm. trauma. It's, it's like what you've been through. Mm-hmm. So it, it depends on what you, who you were bullied by. You're going to gravitate, or who kind of accepted you, you're going to gravitate towards that. I don't know because... I, I, that has I, to do with it, bro. I, 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 I mean, we, I think, think we all... all what she at, just said. Yes. I think at, at one point in time, we all, at some point in time, was bullied by our own race, mm-hmm. right? We've all been, che- I can't we've been cheated folks. on by a black... <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you. You said what? what? I can't. I can't stand black folks. Okay. I'll be honest with you. So listen, man. So who are you, Uncle Ruckus? <laughs> no, I'm not. Y'all know who Uncle Ruckus is. Nah, I'm telling you. Nah, I can't. I know who, nah, you know what? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uncle Ruckus, yeah. Uncle no, Ruckus no, man. No, I'm, I'm telling you. Like, I'm serious though. I'm serious too. Like this subject is it, it, is deep for me. It is. The reason why I say it's deep for me because so we're not just making light of it, right? But you know, because it's like when when I think of other races that basically. I'm saying, Stick I have so much love for the yeah. black man. Yeah. I, I honestly feel like with the black woman, it's not that the black woman don't have love for the black man, but I really don't think that she take, take the time to think about the weight that comes with being a black man, period. Okay, I don't think she understands that. So, so we see other races gravitate hold on, hold on, to hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to let her speak, man. We, oh, we always I heard the deep breath. We got to let her speak. I didn't know. She done we, crunked the call. We, we, I'm we, not sure go. how you even came up with that. Because if anybody understands or tries to understand a black man's journey is a black woman. Yeah. But is that be- true, though? It is. It is. And I tell you why. We have to think about that. Because let, the, the most unprotected person isn't the black man. It's actually the black woman because we'll jump in front of a black man to say, regardless of maybe not the ones that you've chosen, but there are some of us out here who will. So y'all, y'all, y'all become a rare though. Y'all, y'all are becoming a rarity. True. I'm but, be but why? You. Is, I hear but you, why is that? But though? I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, again, but this, y'all are becoming a rare. Right. But that yeah. goes back to because we live in a time now where everybody is worried about what you look like on the outside, oh, yeah. and then by the oh, time oh. you get to the inside, yeah. not, not just that. To to when you when you said that and you said why is that? That is because simple. Everything that the black man does in y'all mindset is. That's what you're supposed to do. Not, baby, thank you for doing that. No. I, because what y'all need to realize is mm-hmm. this. We have a choice like y'all have a choice. So My choice to come in and cook that meal, take care of this house, take out that trash, that's my choice. Yeah. Outside of the weight that's already been on my shoulder that I had to carry before I even got here. So I'm going to say so this. So the appreciation oh. comes in when you say, baby, you know what? I know it don't mean much, but the fact that you took out the trash... For three weeks in a row, I appreciate that. I'm gonna say this, oh, I'm 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 gonna give the black woman a little credit here, I'm, and I'm gonna tell you why, because us black men, we've kind of done it to ourselves. Hey, we on the defense in here, but I'm gonna let you have this right now. I I see you, my boy. Go you, ahead. You know what? You know I'm going. I know you. You, you know ahead. how I roll. I'm gonna give you credit to what you're saying, and I feel that it's a rarity, and the reason I say that. Us black men, we have it hard. It's rough for us black men. Uh, every day. 365. But there's a lot of black men that don't take the role of being a black man serious. Exactly. Because what we're faced with is already, we're, we, we, we know all the excuses of being a black man, right. right? But we also know, everybody on this panel knows what you got to do to overcome and everything. It's not as common. It's not as common. And then the black woman is there suffering, trying to love the black man, trying to step in front. And a lot of women, to y'all's credit, y'all done gave up. Y'all done gave up. It's like, so that's why I say it's a rarity. That's where I'm coming from when I say it's a rarity. Because a lot of black women have said, you know what, I want that. The black men, ain't, they, they not doing what they're supposed to do. And, and we have to be real about that. Like, we just say like we do what we supposed but, to do. But but yeah, are right. we any different from anybody else? The white man, the Asian. I mean, they man, got their issues the too. Man. They they have that. So they, so, they, so they, we're not we're not we're not imperfect. I mean, we're imperfect, right? Like we're not we're not perfect, but we're treated as if we're supposed to be perfect. Yeah, you're supposed to be doing this. You're supposed to be doing that. 
Yeah. We don't we don't get no grace. Like we can't mess that, up. And or, that's where grace comes in. Like that, and that's why we need the black woman to say, okay, is your hands up? Like, are y'all done? Uh, like, uh, what? Uh, like, what's the topic? What's the topic? Why are black men not appreciate? Like, are y'all done? Are, are y'all tired? Like, need to, like, need to in there. But let me say this. Even with that, let's think about it. A lot of us was raised by what? The black woman. And what's the number one thing mm. she's gonna tell you coming up that makes sure you pay attention to what? That mm-hmm. woman that means mm-hmm. you no good. So therefore, when y'all like him saying, with well, a black man no good, some of y'all taught us that. Some of y'all said, listen, pay attention to, keep your heart close to yourself. Pay attention to the woman who's there for you and the woman who's there that means you no good. So therefore, yeah, you might go out and get that other race. I'm mean, saying he may wind and dine you and buy you all this stuff, but is he really going to have your back like the black man does? Some of yeah, some of that. But we, and another thing, and we, since we talking about other races, you looking at this, you looking at this white man, Asian man, Japanese, Chinese, whatever you want to name. At the end of the day, he's at that that level. Why? Because that woman either beside him or behind him, pushing him or working with him. Can you say the black woman do the same thing? Yes. Mm-hmm. Give me an example, example one, please. Me, her. Now, number one, number like two. Is wait, rally, rally. Number what two. I'm not saying, okay, maybe I am saying, I don't know what you're attracting, but it's, it's but clearly, like, because I feel like, unless your examples is from what you're reading and it's not your personal stuff, but your generalization of women that I'm hearing, I'm hearing that you are attracting these women. So then respectfully in my head, I'm thinking, what is your problem? Because, because it, can't be, it can't be five different types of women and you're the common factor. So with that being said, it's not about who you attract. It's the fact that the fact that most guys just don't voice it. I voice it. I'm a voice it because I think, what, if you act a certain way and I see it, you don't even have to belong to me. And if I see it, I'm going to call you out on it. Simple. My thing is, bro. I, okay, I, 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 I just want to. I want. I want to tell you, tread lightly. You got two life coaches. <laughs> <laughs> bro, they ready to dig. They got. They, Listen, it don't, it don't, matter, it don't matter if they life coaches or not. Okay. The thing about it, at the end of the day, you have to realize. I'm saying we we talking about appreciation. Right. Okay. Mm. It don't take much for appreciation. I just I just did a show on Valentine's Day. Okay. About Valentine's Day, the significance, the importance of it. Okay, who really get the benefits of Valentine's Day? Yet it's still, it's a couple's holiday. And it's supposed to be about me showing you love and you showing me love. Yet it's still, if I don't buy you something, I get this in on a stick. But is that really, is that yeah, really you showing me appreciation? How do y'all feel about that? Really, how do y'all feel about really that? No. Really doing that? But, like, but at the same time, <laughs> it's a couple's holiday. No. Couple let, let, let's be real. When you talk about days like Valentine's Day, Men do not put emphasis on Valentine's Day. And that thus why they don't get what they claim that they want on that day. I don't, I don't this want this goes back to the, the topic. Yeah, no, right, exactly. Want, this goes back to the topic that we're talking about. How do you feel unappreciated when the problem is, is that I don't think that you feel under you don't even know what you need to feel appreciated. If you cannot articulate and communicate what you need, if it's only confined to the dishes are done, I need food, the best, there nah, has to be a more in-depth nah, I'm going to be that. honest with you. Yeah, yeah, Orlando no, no, no. can communicate what he needs. No, he I can communicate both. what I need, oh, 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 too. Which one, which, one, right. which one of y'all want to take it? Communicate what you need no. as a man. What do you need, Oh, Shoot, let me see. Where, where we want to start? I need my breakfast made in the morning. I need my clothes and I need my food. He, no, he, he, he BSing. Okay. No, but no, th- th- most men, and it varies from man to man because it varies based off of how they were raised. I'm going right? next. Just like you I'm said, going your, after you, I'm your, going your next. parents cool. were together for 47 mm-hmm. years. Your father probably, your, and your mother probably got up and made him breakfast every morning, made him a lunch to go to work, made dinner for the time when he got home. Uh, she probably laid his clothes out and ironed them or... <laughs> For that amount of time, because you're talking about 47 years, that's like four decades, so that's going back to like what? Six Keisha, and Keisha looking like, nah, no, that would that. I beg to differ. No, no. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, like, because her, guess, her who taught me, guess who taught me how to sew? My father. 
Yeah. So again, this yeah, goes yeah. back that's to we've saying. ascribed to this gender role. Yeah. No, 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 that's not gender role. It, that's that's not me saying the gender a, it's role. It's an expectation that nah, hey, no, that's not to, to meet my need or to make me feel appreciated. This is how you show. But appreciation is far more in depth than a transaction. Yeah, yeah. it is. That's the thing. We've reduced yeah. appreciation to. Tra- Do you not realize that seven percent of black men suffer from depression? Yes. And it ain't because his food is not cooked. Yep. His clothes are not ironed. So, None of that. So Keisha. Can I go? Can I Wait, go? What's, can what's I, the can seven, what, what is the 7% for? It's them? because he cannot communicate yes. what he really Thank you. needs Thank you. outside of tangible things. There is that is. because he's not allowed to or because he's he's demonized? Who's stopping him? Yeah. Who's yeah. stopping black him? No, I, what, I beg, I, I, I beg as soon to the black man tell you, starts the black to try to communicate too how he feels or how he thinks he's demonized. Okay, again. Oh, you're weak. No, again. Oh, what are you talking that goes about? Back Stop being a girl. Suck it up. That goes back to who you're choosing. Because if no, that is because you're an emotionally intelligent woman wants you to be vulnerable. What are you at? Right here. What are you at? Yeah. What are you at? So I, I beg to differ. At? You right. got some friends? Oh, of course. <laughs> some homegirls? That's who I hang with. No, I'm going to be honest with you. They, <laughs> Rosie, they're, you, they're out what, there. You got yeah. some girls? You got some... <laughs> They're getting proposed to, so you Oh, snap. <laughs> but but here's, here's the clear distinction, though. We're also the ones that you all overlook. Thank you. Let's be clear. Because I, because I, you went to the drama one, right? You went to all those the women Instagram, first, the and then long now nails, by the, the time you guys are ready, no, no, they are. No, no, I don't that like is the truth. Nails, and I don't even like Instagram. <laughs> so that you, you, you asked the question. AC, you asked a question. Wait. Now listen, listen. But no, let's be, let's get serious. You asked a question. I can't even go on camera. What, 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 what do I need? That's what you asked. I don't want yes. none of them Instagram you, girls. You said, what do you need, right? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm I'm give it to you. As a man, yeah. I need peace. Yeah. Oof. Okay. I need for you the things that I do for you and with you. I need to know that you appreciate those things. Yeah. Whether it be by some kind of gift. You don't even have to spend. And when I say gift women, it ain't. No. It ain't. Hold on, let me finish. Let me let me say this. When I say gift, it don't necessarily have to mean you went out and bought something. Okay, it could be something you made. It could be something you do. Here's my gift to show you, baby. I appreciate you. Yeah. Okay. I need to be able to know that you are a safe place for me to come. And whatever this weight is on my shoulder, if I want to just take it out for a few minutes and be vulnerable, I can do that with you because that environment that yeah. you set for me, you made me comfortable to do that. Okay, that's what I need. Yeah. So, and I need that woman that lets me know I don't care. You can put three, four, five thousand tons on my back, baby. You can push through that. You can do that. Yep. Yep. So, I want to so, say so, that. I so want to say. So that. you. So the people that you date, the women that you date, you haven't been able to be vulnerable with them, like tell them what's going on, and they, and they listen to you, give you, give you, uh, you know, ways to cope with it, deal with it, and stuff like that. That's no. Damn. Yeah, well, I'm saying he yeah, picking I, wrong. He picking yeah, wrong. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. It's not the okay, picking, but it's a picker. Wait, wait, wait. Right? I have a question, though. Okay, you say you want all those things, right? Was that articulated to this woman that this is the stuff that you want? Yes. And what was the response to that? The same response that a lot of them say, I don't know how to do that. Okay, so... so my, once again, how are you going to judge the black man when he told you what he want and you don't know how to do that? Okay, hold up. So she said... You, she can't do that. Sometimes that's teachable. Okay, you're not listening. Follow here. So she said that to you. Did you say, hey, let me show you how with me because at the end of the day, he could do X, Y, and Z towards me, but that's not what I like. And then he could come about and I say, hey, this is how I like this. Mm -hmm. And then he knows how to treat me because Mm -hmm. he is different from him. So with this experience, women here, mm-hmm. what did you say for her to say, hey, this is an example of how I would like to show my vulnerability? Okay, and her thing was, I'm not used to that, or at the end of the day, well, the last guy, I, will, I have to go through all that. So if you don't know, I can't, I'm not mad at you that you don't know, but my thing is, if I go and be vulnerable with somebody else, why, what, what platform do you have to be mad about? You said you don't know, you said you can't do it. That's just like if a man comes to you and say, hey, I don't know how to fix no car. I don't know how to fix no tires. Or you just going to let your car sit there. That's or you going to go to the next person that yeah, is, that's is, that, is, that, is that all of them? No. no. So here's my thing. <laughs> it ain't, it's not a, 
it's not about all of them, but it's the ones you, you have to weed through the ones you that, that's available you know, for you. But that's the, I mean, no. that's the process. You it's a process, bro. It's a process. So, so, so you're so, safe. Stay safe. I mean, I'm safe, but, so, but, but you are, ho, 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 ho. You always be attacking me like I ain't never been no, doing anything. No, 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 but ho, 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 ho. I'm telling you, I'm saying you. Yeah, but I'm saying even before I was married and stuff like that, I dated plenty of women, whatever, right? But it was, they they still, they would I would go to them, they would listen to me. Yeah. You know, it, I, I could be vulnerable with them. Yeah. What you know what I mean? It, it just seemed, it just seemed like I ain't, I ain't attacking you. It seemed like, like, why all of them got a problem? Like, yeah. why well, you know? Yeah. I, I, even, I even said, I said, tell me what you normally date. And then you told me, I said, man, switch that up. I said, just go completely different. I said, I, I don't, I, and we not even talking, I don't even care color, right? We just talking about women now just in general. Personality, I said, attitude, said just whatever you did, whatever you had before, 100% different. Just go the other way. Yeah. If, if normally you meet women over here, don't meet them there. Yeah. They ain't for me. I'm going to go up here. Just to ex- It's an experiment at this point mm-hmm. to try to find something different, right? Yeah. If, if she got a big old butt, get a flat. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I know, I know we got to transition. Yeah, to I'm the just next saying segment, whatever, man. I, just, I, do, I, do, I do want to say that one of the things that I look for is, and, and if I had to put it in one word, I will just say intuitiveness, right? Just, just someone being in, in tune to me, right? Uh, and I know that's multiple words, but intuitiveness and, and what I mean by that is basically, you know, as I'm carrying the weight of the world on my shoulders, which I want to do, right? Yeah, I want to provide. Do that, but we have to do Yeah, we have to. Right. That's how we was raised. That's what we, that's what we want right. to do. That's what we know how to do, right? right. You out there, you carrying the weight of the world. I just want somebody to be yeah. in tune yeah. to me. And, and, and I, so, and I yeah. want to say, like, how you were talking about those 15 people, right? So everybody now at this age, we're going to come with baggage, right? You're going to have a whole bunch of stuff yeah, that you yeah, dealt yeah, with, right? Yeah. So so when that person, you you were, you you say, hey, you tell her, I'm going to do X, Y, Z, right? And the thing about it is she may be shorter with you because she's had all that 15, right? So if you come in and say, hey, I'm going to do this, and then you immediately don't do what you said, then now her fuse is going to be shorter. She's going to be like, okay, he, 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 he's basically following suit, right? But if you come in and you say, I'm going to do this, and you stick to that, right, then eventually at some point she's going to be like, okay, he's doing what he said, right? Because uh, mind you now, she, she's told you that she's had all this crap in, in, in before, and you're just trying to, you're fixing it. Yeah, yeah, you got to suffer the, the pain and agony and all this kind of stuff and her not believing in you because of her past, but once you show that consistency, potentially you'll break that barrier. Right. And then now you can you can lean on her. She's going to believe in you, right? But you got to show it. You can't just say it. Because right. you can't say it. That goes, that goes uh, you, you, but, but I'm that, saying, but I'm just saying, but I'm saying, you just can't say it. Your, your mouth say it, right? right? But then if you don't do it, then it don't, it don't, it don't matter. All right, we're going to move on to our next segment. They can't, be the, they can't be the hour. Couple of things, right? <laughs> As black men. So y'all black women know from us to you. We like to cuddle. <laughs> we like to communicate. We like flowers too. <laughs> nah, man, you, we you, like love. You keep the flowers. I don't want no flowers, man. Flowers, right? Ain't nothing wrong with no, flowers. No, man, you don't want no flowers. No, you no, some flowers. No, you got the flowers, good. No, you, 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 give me. I, I mean, no, no, I don't flowers. receive flowers. Hey, man, no, man, get them an edible. No, an edible. I got an edible arrangement. Edible arrangement. I like them. Bobby wanted no plants. I don't like that. Oh, black men, black, black men like romance too, man. Don't, 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 the, the don't new, What's the new don't thing exclude they us. About with, the, with, the, with the nails and the the the, the, the um? You talking about? Thing I sent you no, no, you talking about talking about hammer hammer nails. Yeah, hammer, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like it's, it's like, we like that's a gift days certificate too. We like it's small like days like too. Small that's days. a gift certificate. Yeah. What, what okay, move forward. Step All right, so step so, outside the norm. Yeah, man, ain't nothing wrong with it. Step outside the norm. We still Hey, we still we still manly. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We're going to step into our next segment. We're going to do some ass bro code <laughs> from our fans. You know, yeah. they gave us a couple of questions. Let's let one of our guests uh, pick a number, man. We're going to let you pick the first one. Three. Okay. Ooh, we got number three. three. To number five. Number three. Pisces season. Let's go. As a father, what is your best strength and worst weakness? Mm. Ooh. Mm. For me, I'll say my best strength is... I listen to my boys and what they have to say. Yeah. My weakness is, if I had to say one, I don't know how to sugarcoat stuff. Like I don't know. I, I just that. I just give it to them raw and uncut. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it don't need to be raw and uncut. I need to, you know, dial it back a little bit. But I mm-hmm. do that because 
the world is raw and uncut. Mm -hmm. It's not sugar coated. So uh, yeah. if I had to say one, I, 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 I would say that. For me, um, I, I feel like my strength is being in tune to my kids. I think that's one of the things that I kind of value, uh, being in tune. So I try to be in tune to my kids, mm -hmm. right, and what they're going through and how they respond. I would say my weakness is, and I'm learning this, I'm trying to teach them FIO, figure it out. Mm -hmm. I, I want to do everything for them. Like, I want to, yeah. you know. Uh, that's that parent. That's that parental. Yeah, parent yeah parental, it's like uh, overprotective. Like, like, like yeah, you know, and, and I'm trying to learn. Yeah, I'm it's trying to learn. Like, no, think yeah. for yourself. No, no, no. Figure it out. Handicapping. It's just. Helicopter. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what they call it. Yeah. 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 Me, I don't call it handicapping. My strength would be um, just, patience and motivation. That would be my strength. Um, I have all girls. So I, I was being their dad to basically be patient but push them at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, let them know they can do anything they put their mind to. Mm -hmm. My weakness, I'm going to agree with Coop, my weakness would probably be on raw and uncut. I done never mm -hmm. sugarcoat nothing with my girls. I gave it to the way it, thought, the way it came pop in my head is yeah. the way it came out. Yeah, yeah. At the same time, I think kids need to hear it like that because mm -hmm. when, you, when you push them out in the world, the world is not gonna give it to you nicely. Mm -hmm. It's gonna give it to you however you encounter it. Yeah. So yeah. they have to be prepared and from both aspects. Yep. 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 And I and I say that because mm -hmm. my son, I was he, he be real with me. Be like, that your message be good, but sometimes you gotta you know yeah, yeah, present yeah. it a little different. <laughs> Come on, so man. I, I, I received that. Right? I received that. I receive it. <laughs> right. But he know how I am. He know if he asks me a question, he know how it's coming. <laughs> right, yeah. right. But well, outside so of know. my baby. Yeah. Uh, so I say my strength is uh, is being there for for my son. Like I, I try not to miss not not any event. You know yeah. I mean, right, I mean right. I'm even at like every single football practice, baseball yeah. practice, I'm down there on the field. They say he ain't lying because he be they say, FaceTiming. Yeah, they say pants. <laughs> <and, laughs> <and, laughs> supposed to be on the field. I, I, like I'm there. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm on that's the field. Right. That's important. Yeah. Um, and then probably my weakness is 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 probably do, maybe doing too much for him. Like yeah. let I, I do let him slide on some stuff. Uh, right. Stacy mm. said something like, "Man, you letting him slide or whatever." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's supposed to do X, Y, Z. And then he didn't do it, then I might go ahead and, and, and do it for him yeah, or something like that. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. so that's probably. No, we, we all did it. Because, I mean, yeah. we, was, we grew up differently because we're all around the same age. So yeah. I, we grew up on the different thumb. So, we, I mean, we get it. You know y'all, I ain't the no oldest y'all. Rico, so you you know what? Yeah, he be doing that. All right. Yeah, Rico be doing Bro that. Bro Cole family, because Rico showing out over here. Yeah. We appreciate y'all tuning in, man. We appreciate our guests. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for, for joining and us. And our spirited conversations and the different perspectives, because, you know, we try to give different perspectives. We don't want to seem biased yeah. or that we're right, you know. <laughs> so next time, we'll see you later, man. Tune in for another episode of Bro Cole. Peace.